Yo, what's up, guys? We're back again with another video. Today, we're going to be playing uh, Five Nights at Freddy's VR. It was uh, on a very tight budget. Oh! Why did you do that? Give me. Is that a furry? Sweet. Ah! Yeah, this game is called Polar Dread. It is basically... It, well, it's app lab. It's free. Play it if you want. Here we go. Into the Matrix. Uh-huh. Can I have that? Oh! Got it. Something. Can I grab something? No. I'm sitting down in real life right now. What's the point of standing up? Hello, player, and welcome to Polar Dread. Hi. Now, we don't have an actual narration yet for this tutorial, so you're gonna be stuck with me instead for now. Um, so, the first thing I want to introduce you to is the basic mechanics of the game. Because it's going to get a little oh, complex like in the later one. minutes of the game, and you have to know how to manage everything in the room. I think a good place to start would be your door controls. So, if you look down to the right of the room, you should see a door mm -hmm. that has some fairy lights at the top of it. This is going to be your main office entrance, and this is how a lot of the enemies are going to try to get into your room. Now, if you look down at your table, you should see that there's a little button on it that's to the far right. This will actually talk to the door, opening it or closing it. Uh -huh. Now, don't worry about the door opening on its own, because it's going to stay shut if you hold it shut. As soon as you toggle it back off again, though, the door will open, meaning that enemies can get through. Me. Now, the reason you want to keep the door open sometimes is because you have a power limit. You can actually view this limit on your watch using the green rim that surrounds the time. Once the green rim turns red, that's power that you've effectively lost, which you cannot get back until the end of your shift. So you have to manage all your power Screw the best off. you can. Now, another thing I want to address is the ventilation duct behind you. If you were to turn around, you should see a ventilation huh? duct behind you. This is where some enemies are going to come across you. And in order to shut them out, first, you have to detect them by pushing the X button in your controller. You'll turn on the flashlight on your left hand. You can use this to look into darker areas of the office if you feel like I don't like, like, it's like that. But this does not take up any not power, one so you bit. can be as trigger happy with it Yikes. as you want. When you have your light focused in the dark vent, you might see something in there. If you do, you look to the right to the vent, Zoinks. and you can see a little button. This works like the door control. You can toggle it on and off, and it shuts out the vent, preventing any creatures from getting inside. Now, if you turn around to face the front again, you should see a little tablet that's mounted in front of you. And then behind that tablet, you should see a giant flat screen on Where? the wall that has a camera system on it. Ah. You can basically use this tablet by touching oh. a room to toggle Eek. that camera feed to the room you just touched. This is like <gasps> tell where all the enemies are. Oh god, that scared me. Leave the office. It's always good to look at the cameras if you don't know where an enemy <laughs> is, like otherwise it's me. I didn't even mean to do that. Attention. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about is how to force grab items in this game. There are some <sighs> items that are currently out of your reach, but you can actually Use grab the them force. and pull them towards you using a simple three-step system. First off, reach your hand towards whatever object you want to grab, and if it has a blue highlight, you're doing it correctly. And then, the make line. a fist by squeezing either the trigger or the grip button. And then, once you have it locked in, Swing your arm backwards and it'll come flying towards you, and you can then catch it out of the air. You'll require some more items during the later nights of the game, so you want to make sure you're able to reach as many of them as you possibly can during the spare time that you have between encounters. That's all for now, though, so I'll just let you win the game. Don't. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. I'm paranoid now. What's the sound? I don't trust this game. Ah. I recommend checking this game out, possibly. They got a Discord up there. Uh, uh Discord.gg slash whatever. I don't really, I'm not gonna read it off. Ah. Uh, 
voila. Join the Discord if you want. Um, yeah. I'm not even. Uh, give me that. I want the. How do I do this? I don't like this music. It's. I played Crawl Space. Check out that video if you want. <laughs> oh no. I'm turning down the volume. I have headphones on right now. Oh my god. Play some music for me. Please. Hello? Sam! Hey! This is Isaac from management. Figured I'd leave you a call real quick. I'm Since Sam. stuff we've got to tell you about in the office. Hey, right? I'm Sam. First off, I want to tell you that this ship is due. Well, it's a bit longer than you thought it would be. You're gonna be up until 6 in the morning. Yeah, we know it's a bit of a bigger undertaking than you thought, but just bear in mind that these renovations are taking a very Can long time, up? hence why your being here is so important. Some people out there are, well, they're kind of stupid. I know we're open 24-7, but people tend to stumble in while we're doing construction like a bumbling ape. We block the doors, and they literally stick their the fingers in, trying to open the lock, and... What? What? Okay, uh! Let's just go over the obvious stick. You have a monitor and Stop! Partner. Touch a room, the camera beep will switch. Stop! To Groundbreaking technology, eh? Oh, right, and the doors too. They've got a little button on the table, so you press that if you feel like someone this. is in the building, and you should be safe. Just don't use them too much. Their electric can use quite a bit of power, and God knows this entire resort uses enough power already. Speaking of, if you look at your watch, you can see your power limit using the green rim of the watch. The more it turns red, that's more money we have to spend on the power bill. Yeah, you find that okay. funny, don't you, asshole? Anyway, one thing for tonight. If you turn around behind you, you'll see a vent duct. Basically, so you don't suffocate yourself, since that optics gets incredibly stuffy in the wrong conditions. But if you feel like you want it off, you can just push the button to the right of the vent and close it. I think that's all for now. I'll call you soon, though. See you later, Sam. And remember to not mess up our shit. It's expensive. That's the lobby camera. Good night. Thick. Oh. I'm too afraid to check if it's gone. Okay. I didn't listen to the phone call too inherently. But. Is there only one animatronic? I thought it was only that thing that crawled in there. He's going in the studio. Yeah, he's the music. And see that one in here. Here. It's happening. <laughs> I can't even make it past the first night. I. Yeah, I, I, this game's a little confusing. Crack one open. <laughs> This is uh, App Lab, by the way. I think I already mentioned that. This is App Lab. You have to search specifically Polar Dread when you're looking for it. In Oculus Store. Uh, there's lots of other games that are App Lab. Uh, probably gonna play some more horror App Lab games. I don't know if I want to do that again. Anxiety. 
Yippee. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sam, hey, say, this is Isaac from management. Figured I'd leave you a call real quick since there's stuff we've got to tell you about in the office you're in. First off, I want to tell you that this shift spooky, is scary well, it's a bit longer than you thought it would be. You're going to be up until 6 in the morning. Yeah, we know it's a bit of a bigger undertaking than you thought, but just bear in mind that these renovations are taking a very long time, hence why your being here is so important. Some people out there are, well, they're kind of stupid. I know we're open 24-7, but people tend to stumble in while we're doing construction, like a bumbling ape. We block the doors, and they literally stick their fingers in, trying to open the lock, and... I'm off the topic again, lovely. Okay, Please let's don't the obvious sir. stick. You have a monitor in front of you. If you touch a room, the camera beep will switch to the room. Groundbreaking technology, eh? Oh, right, and the doors, too. They've got a little button on the table, so just press that if you feel like someone is in the building, and you should be safe. Just don't use them too much. They're electric and use quite a bit of power. God knows this entire resort uses oh enough God. power already. Speaking of, if you look at your watch, you can see your power limit using the green rim of the watch. The more it turns red, that's more money we have to spend on the power bill. Yeah, you find that funny, don't Go you? Go away! Asshole. Anyways, one thing for tonight. If you turn around behind you, you'll see a vent duct. Basically, so you don't suffocate yourself, since that office gets incredibly stuffy in the wrong conditions. But if you feel like you want it off, you just push the button to the right of the vent and close it. I think that's all for now. I'll call you soon, though. See you later, Sam. And remember to not mess up our shit. It's expensive. Good night. Wait, what if I just keep that open? Trying to shoot me through there, I think. I'm not sure entirely. I think that's the door. <laughs> yep. Okay. I know how this goes now. I leave the door open when he walks by that way. He tries to get in the vent. Spoopy. Ah. Uh, shit. He tries to get me when he comes out. Self explanatory. Mostly. Do I have to throw things at him? That'd be cool. Cool feature. I can keep it open here. <laughs> I guess that's a separate one. You know, you should have sealed that vent. <laughs> Kill me. What? I feel like this is a good place to leave off, even though I didn't win any levels. Uh, let's listen to the music. enjoyed this video of me not winning any levels uh please leave a like and subscribe hit that notification bell to be notified of all my videos here a single one just so you know this is much harder than it looks i hope to see you guys in the next video or stream comment down below if you want anything next games vr ps4 just about anything uh yeah i will see them later uh, go get this game on Oculus Quest, specifically Oculus Quest 2. Uh, it's Polar Dread, it's an app lab, really cool. Uh, and I think it's got some really good potential, actually. Um, what are those for? I'm wondering. I think they're hints. Maybe this game has an overarching story like FNAF. But, uh, yeah. Hope to see you guys next stream or video, and... Goodbye.